Christine's students, faculty, faculty members, and even complete strangers climbed a massive hill in back of Fairport High School just hours ago to lean on each other for support. Many of her students, recent and former students, told me today that the school will never be the same. Very unreal, like, you know, shock, kind of. Those are just a few words to describe what students and faculty members are feeling today after learning one of their favorite teachers won't be returning to class. She was, she was just a really happy, fun lady, and she made the whole class, you know, laugh and smile every day. And Heather Boyan was riding her bicycle this morning when she was killed. Police say 22-year-old Mark Serbo was recklessly driving his motorcycle down Route 250 when he struck Boyan. She was thrown from her bike and into the road. That's when police say his girlfriend, 23-year-old Megan Merkel, ran over the teacher with her car. Boyan was rushed to the hospital where she later died. Now a community is trying to make sense of this tragedy. She wasn't necessarily just a teacher, but I think she was a lot of these, a lot of these students' friends. Brittany Duprat was one of hundreds of students who gathered at the school tonight to pay tribute to Mrs. Boyan. Many described her as an incredible teacher, one who would sacrifice anything for her students. She was always happy. She was, a, she was a great teacher, and she was really easy to talk to. Like, if anybody had a problem, they knew they could come to her. Students and faculty members say they found peace coming to the campus. It was a place where they can all lean on each other for support, a place to remember a teacher, a mother, taken way too soon. <laughs> and just being here is really powerful, and I wish that I got to spend more time with her. And I and Mark Serbro, who actually struck the victim first, um, was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. As far as the other driver, 23-year-old Megan Merkel, was arrested at the scene for driving while intoxicated. Police did not say if they ticketed Serbo or if he was intoxicated as well, but they did tell us that additional charges, charges may be filed uh, against both of them. Christine? All right, such a tragic story. Do you know what the district is saying about all this tonight? Definitely, they're, they're devastated as well. We spoke to Marie, Marie Jane Yarmer, a spokesperson for Fairport School District. She says they're putting together a crisis management team. Counselors will be on hand starting tomorrow to assist pe uh, students throughout the entire week. All right, our thoughts go out to the family and the school district tonight. Joe Wayne, Joe Concepcion, live in our newsroom tonight. Thank you.